Hello, I'm Penny Melville Brown from Baking Blind. I don't see at all. I can't even tell whether it's light or dark. But I don't let anything stop me from getting the very best out of life. As you can see from all the videos of me cooking around the globe. I travelled to a rural village just outside Lilongwej that Kaifas, the head chef from Latitude Hotel, knew really well. This visit was much more about the village than cooking. The homes are simple, mud bricks and thatch. Everything was super tidy and clean. A real challenge without electricity or running water. The whole village had turned out to watch the spectacle of this blind cook. Instead of us cooking in earthenware pots on a fire, Kaifas had set up a sort of field kitchen. And this is Patso who's helping us today, also yes. from the hotel. Yeah. Another sous chef. Oh yes. <laughs> but I did get a chance to use the traditional mortar and pestle under the very watchful eye of one of the local ladies. These are yes. their own recipes. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> we will have to test it with them later. Yeah, sure. Kaifas showed me the vegetable side dish. Yes, that's our vegetables, the cassava leaves mixed with groundnut powder. And tomatoes. <laughs> and tomatoes. So they are ready in front of you. Here's the spoon. You have to scoop a little bit of it and test. That, is that about right? Yeah, that's right. Just a little bit, oh. you've taken too much. No, okay. I've taken too much. Mm. <laughs> okay. How is it? It is delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> that is really nice. Okay. <laughs> so our vegetables will be going with simmer. Yes. And the simmer is right in front of you as well. Um, should we present the fish? The fish as well. Sima is a very traditional and common food in Malawi. It is made with maize flour, that's dried and ground sweet corn that's added to water to make a really thick porridge, like a polenta. Our fish are done now? Yes, the fish is done. Oh, well, it's lovely and crisp. That's Chambo from Lake Malawi. This fish, you can get it fresh just because, you know, Lake Malawi, it yes. stretches from the northern part of Malawi to the southern part of Malawi. So actually, Malawi, half of its land yeah. is all waters. We've got a lot of species which are, draw, which are right in Lake Malawi. We've got the catfish, we've got the butterfish, but this is really, really famous. It's uh, also similar to the tilapia fish. Well, should we try it? Yes, you can get a bite. Oh, uh. yeah, oh. <laughs> That's very nice. Really? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've been avidly watched by the whole village. The women, the children, and the adolescent youths just hung about being cool. I was very grateful to Mafatso, one of the sous chefs from the Latitude Hotel. She translated while I tried to thank the head man and one of the ladies from the village. May I give you this? Mm. So everybody in the village. And I, can you explain that I made this myself? Oh. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> A traditional dance was being held a mile or so away across the very bumpy terrain. I was placed on a throne-like bench. Local people had all come together dressed in very wild costumes. They were honouring their local chieftain. It was very special to be welcomed and included in such a different way of life. Next time, more local people facing even bigger challenges.